Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini, this is the Enchanted Blunder, and today we are going to give this planner a little bit of a winter refresh, because I am itching for winter. <laughs> like I said, I'm kind of done. Like, I'm at the point where I'm done, and it doesn't happen very often. Normally I enjoy all of the autumn stuff, but it started to get chilly here, like it's frosty in the morning, and um, the like, so we are going to give this planner an overhaul. <clears throat> okay, so I did this in the autumn and you guys loved it. It was a very popular video. So today, what we're doing <laughs> is a few things. I have made these in Canva. Um, some of these will be a freebie for you guys. Some will go into the shop. There will be more details on all of this in my December setup video and I have to try and make sure I remember to finish that. Hold on because you know mental brain is a thing. Let me write this up. Set up. Details. Dashboards. And then I will know what the heck I am talking about. Okay I have myself a sticky note. Thank God for sticky notes man because I swear if my brain <laughs> I swear I'd leave it behind it's not so good. So I've created these. This is not this one. So this is going to be sort of the front cover and the back cover. So you can see that it matches. And then this is going to go in place of in front of my main calendar. But we do need to trim these babies up. So let's get the paper trimmer and let's have a go at it, shall we? I got not very much room on my desk right now. Oh, the other thing I was going to say, hold on, before we get too crazy cutting things, I pulled out a couple of discs. Like, I got these really cute snowflake discs that I think I bought, was it last year in the Black Friday or was it the year before? I don't quite remember. At one of the points. And then I have these nicer dark blue ones, which I think I bought on sale, actually. And I'm liking both of them. So here's my, <laughs> here's my problem. If we flip this over, like these go really well with our my snowmans and these Mickey Mouse go really well with the background. But we're going to see which one I prefer once I get these guys cut and punched and onto some discs. So I'm going to start on the inside corner of oh, the phone. There we go. So what's up, Buttercups? Apparently I was a little bit off on that cut, but we can fix it. These end up being a little bit shy. Oh, what happened? Oh, I'm not at seven. I was like, don't cut, <laughs> there's something wrong there. Okay, before we do that, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this micro. There we go, get rid of that. And then, cause we've got a little bit of give on this side, right, a little bit. So, that. And then we will cut our final one at nine and a quarter. Cute! That's my front cover. I don't like the fact that that didn't. See, this is why we usually do things ahead of time so I can see what's gone on because something didn't center there. So we'll have to see about fixing that. Maybe we'll cut this side first and we'll see how this one fares. Because, you know, although I'm a little anal retentive, I don't mind having something that's a little bit off in my planner, but if I'm going to give it away to you guys or <laughs> sell it in the shop kind of needs to be a little bit more perfect so let's see what happens if we cut it from this side ah see they're not centered okay that's good to know something is off on my details in the thing which means this one's going to be a bit off too because I literally just copied each of the documents because I'd already set up the background but that's all right like I said it's not that big of a deal if I have a little bit of a white line I have a little bit of a white line okay but I will fix it for you guys again comes down to it's always best that I test things out <laughs> Because although, gratefully, I'm so, I, I love you guys, seriously, like you'll buy stuff from the shop and I don't know if I have mental brain at some point, it's like I've uploaded the wrong file. Thank you so much for those of you that have like, um, something wrong here. <laughs> I love y'all. Okay, so let's do the vellum. Let's get this all lined up. 
right there. There we go. I love the vellum overlay look. I don't do it all the time, but it is nice sometimes. Although the funny thing is, I have to run this through on my HP NB printer. I cannot run it through on my HP 8720 because for some reason um, there's a drag and it, I don't know if it's that the ink doesn't dry fast enough or what it is, but it will, it, yeah, it just smudges it and I don't like it. So that is a problem. Okay, so now we're gonna punch our friends. So this, go in there like that and this is the back cover so that's gonna go like that this is the front cover and then this is the overlay then we'll go about there excellent cool excellent all right so let's get these guys out of the way Let's go to the planner, shall we? So we're gonna make a little bit of noise here because I'm gonna take off the covers. And I'm gonna pull the dividers out. And there's a reason for this because it helps give a little bit more firmness to the, um, when we're trying to put the, you know what I'm talking about? Like it's the, the cover's a little fin, flimsy. <laughs> so, this helps it helps give the that's what it is structure that's the word of the day that i'm looking for it helps gives gives the give the covers a little bit of structure so things don't flop around so badly when you're trying to put it all together right this has got more structure than it would when you're trying to put the pages on okay so let's do the covers first and then we're going to put the dividers on now here's where i'm on the fence let me get my let me get my pretties i kind of like the dark ones i do all right so can we make a decision now <laughs> because most of you know me and you know how partial i am to black and white discs especially when i start decorating my planner spreads and there's all kinds of things in there that you know the blue discs may not go all that well with um so these discs may end up getting changed out i i promise nothing they i may switch them out to my white discs if they start clashing too much with my spreads just going to give you that heads up can you, and y'all have seen you've seen me do it before <laughs> you've seen me you have seen me do it before so let's give this a little bit of structure these guys I probably could try and put all of them on at once but when you're getting started putting stuff onto the discs I don't know I find it a little bit easier to just exercise a little bit of patience especially when my dividers are starting to get well loved okay so and these dividers are from cloth and paper. They are a thicker version. Live Love Posh also sells a version of clear side tabbed and top tabbed dividers. Um, they're more clear than these ones. These are got a little bit more of a frost to them. Um, I have them somewhere. If I can find them quickly, I will pull them out and show you the difference. Of course, these clear covers are from Live Love Posh because I like to customize my planner way too much to see what I mean? Like now it's a little bit easier to put things on here because the discs aren't trying to flop all over the place. Ooh, very cool. Okay, so now let's go to my weekly because this guy's gonna live here. Can you tell I love winter? <laughs> I do I love winter and then we're going to go to the back cover because I haven't made any decisions on if I'm changing out my uh, dashboards for the other dividers and I'm not sure we're keeping all of these topics in my dividers and we'll get to that shortly so what's going to move over we're going to move over <clears throat> this section because you know it's been in here all year why not finish it out right this is my 23 and 23 and my goals pages so let's pull all of this over. 
yeah, by putting the dividers in there, it's a lot easier to get the pages on. Okay, so now we're into my, I'm gonna take that dashboard off. And we're gonna grab my weekly planner section and plunk this on here. And today's Friday, just in case you're curious. <laughs> today's Friday the 17th because I'm trying to put this together. You know, it's funny, Di and I were talking and she hasn't done her currently page for, I think she said October. I haven't done my, I haven't decorated my currently page for November yet. Don't ask. I just don't get it. Um, we are in the wrong spot. You and you, I didn't put you in the right spot. Let's find the back of the gold section. I need to go here. Okay, so let's put this on. Sweet! Very excited. Okay, so now we're going to put on my health section. Now, I do like my dashboard. I like this one. This one is in my shop. This is mine. Oh, I love them. The same with my um, trackers and stuff. Okay, let's pull this stuff over. And then we got to pull over. Do I need any of that stuff? No, I don't. So we can pull over the monthly and my weekly section for my health planner. Okay, and then the divider for my bookmark. And then the rest of the month. Cool. Uh, I don't think so. All right, so. The next couple of sections I haven't really been using. The journal section and the, um, well, the habit section I have been. So let's pull over. That, I think. Okay, I'm gonna move them over. This, this goes in here. And this section is going to get changed, I think. And then we'll go into the habit section, which is all of this stuff. This all needs a refresh. Some of this is stuff that I showed you in the video for, you know, getting use out of your half sheets and stuff. And this, of course, is dyes. It, uh, I'll link it down below. This is her sort of zone cleaning master checklist if you're doing like anything for Fly Lady. Um, this, what have we got going on here? This should be, I think, back here. And like I said, I haven't decided if I'm changing out any of those dividers. Then we'll take over my reading tracker. And then we'll take over the books to read, which never got used. That can go on that side. <clears throat> because I have it on this list and I never transferred it over. Then we have the date night ideas. Sure, why not? Let's throw these over here. <clears throat> okay, and then we have my two self-care pages, which again, these will probably get a little bit of an overhaul in 2024. And then we have my birthday tracker, which is kind of important. And not that I don't know why most people's birthdays are, but just in case, because yeah, yeah, men over it, you know what I mean? And then we have that and that, and I don't think there's anything else in here I want to transfer over. That's just some random note paper. And that's all stuff. Okay, so now I put the random note paper back here. So let's take a look at this from the front now. We have the front cover, and then we have my goal section, which may or may not get a dashboard, I haven't decided yet. Then we have my weekly section, which is like super cute, and then we have my house section. Where I'm thinking about changing things up is because it is Christmas time, so I think I'm going to dedicate one of these tabs as a sort of Christmas home base for uh, whatever I decide to do, whether I'm going to use one of the extension packs, whether I'm going to make my own extension pack, or if I'm just going to literally go off of blank pieces of paper that I create and make lists and whatnot. Because after all, at the end of the day, really all I need is a list. 
I need a list for everything. I need a list for what we're going to buy for groceries. I need a list for what we're doing for shopping. I need a list for stocking. You know, it's, they're lists. Um, I don't generally send a lot of Christmas cards anymore. I don't um, generally send a lot of presents by post either. Our Christmas is fairly simple. Like I like simplicity, absolutely. <clears throat> so I think that's going to be what will be added on one of these tabs. I just don't know if I want it, how I'm going to set that up. You will see that, I promise. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it today because I hadn't really thought about that until after I started this video. <laughs> Nothing like leaving things to the last minute. All right, so cute, right? So let's go to my today and see how much it clashes. Eh, that's not bad. Next week might be worse. Oh yeah, that is a problem. That's a definite problem. But um, the sloths are still so freaking cute. They're so cute. But we're just gonna see if I can deal with it because like these together look so pretty. The blue discs, my vellum, and then my background. And then I flip it over and we're into Hello Winter because winter's approaching. It's nice, it's getting chilly here. Okay, I'm gonna say that's a wrap. Um, like I said, keep an eye open for the December setup video because I will give you guys more details on the dashboards and how to get your hands on them. <laughs> if you're on the email list, it will go out by email. If you are not on the email list, you will find a sign up link in the description, not today, in the uh, setup video, which will come out later next week. And I think that's a wrap, you guys. Pray for me. Pray for me that I will be able to deal with the blue color discs because right now if we're just looking at the cover they look skookum right it's when we start getting into my spreads that they're not so skookum <laughs> okay thanks so much for watching you guys i'll see you next time ciao